It was a whirlwind love affair, but now China and Bitcoin seem to be taking a bit of a break. The bursting of this latest bubble was sparked by the Chinese central bank clamping down on the virtual currency. Of course, it's plunged before only to power on to new records. If you're still willing to make a punt on the concept, but you're nervous about the high price of entry on the Bitcoin, there are alternatives. Among the hundreds of copy currencies, arguably the most successful, the Litecoin, which surged in late November. And unlike the Bitcoin, people like you and me can still mine Litecoins with a home-built PC. But I know you're asking, how hard is it to get started? And will it all end in tears? Or perhaps in Lamborghinis? Well, stay with us for the answer, because the Reuters team in Hong Kong has built our very own mining rig. Let's start, though, at the start. Day zero, buying the parts. On the shopping list, you've got a motherboard, some RAM, a processor, a big old power supply, the case, and of course, the three graphics cards, the brains of the operation. By the time I was walking out the store, it cost me 1,500 bucks, not cheap. Oh, oh man. Soon this will all be worth its weight in Bitcoins, hopefully. Or maybe Litecoins. After a long struggle to put together the machine and a few false starts, by Monday, we were finally up and running. A beautiful start, but the honeymoon didn't last long. Repeated freezes meant we obviously had a problem. But what is it? By day two, the machine had gone from occasional problems to non-functional. It seems we'd found the culprit, heat. Well, a few days on, we've had to move the whole system into our server room here because it's a lot cooler. Unfortunately, if we go take a look, we can see that's not really helping. We've got these three cards here and this middle one gets so hot, it literally makes the whole system run to a halt. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to pull it right out. And that's really gonna hit us when it comes to mining this week, unless we can come up with an alternative solution to get it back online. And so we were down to just two cards running, cutting our earning potential. But joy of joys, late Tuesday night, our first full Litecoin rolls into our wallet. Day three, all quiet on the Eastern front. Now I've tried punching in new settings to overclock our cards. That'll hopefully get us a better result. Certainly on the Litecoin forums, other users are getting much better mining rates. Looks like I might've bought the wrong cards here, or maybe I'm just not a natural miner. Day four, a solution to get our third card back and running in the system. This online supplier sells extension cables to wire that graphics card in, but out of the system. And that should help it stay cooler, so it will take a day to arrive here from Shenzhen. Day five, it's Friday, baby, and salvation has arrived. With our new cable in hand, it's time to finally put that dormant third graphics card to work. But the extra cables were actually a bit too short to help much. And while we could pull the whole thing out of the case and put it in a milk crate like others have done, I don't have the time or the patience for that. Let's just mine. Tack on the weekend, and we've now hit seven days of mining. Our tally for the week, 3.6 Litecoins. And when we started out, that would have been worth 150 US dollars. But following the Bitcoin crash, Litecoin has fallen too. So we've earned just 100 bucks, putting us at an overall deficit of about $1,400. Now, if instead we'd simply invested our mining rig cash into Litecoins at the start, we'd be down just 500 bucks. So while yes, you can still get into the mining game with Litecoin and other currencies, don't expect to be doing so on the ground floor. At this stage, crypto mining is a bit like its real world counterpart. It's very labor intensive, it's got high risks, and there's no guarantees of profits. 